Buzz. Hi everybody. This is a short video about my friend Al. I called him yesterday to see how he was doing, and it turns out a medical condition had prevented him from checking on his bees all winter. I drove over today to find out how they were doing. A little background on Al. When he first started keeping bees 10 years ago, he was told that it was impossible to keep them over winter. So every fall, after harvesting the honey, Al let his bees die. He didn't like it much, but it was all he knew. Then Al and I met. He was amazed to hear that I got most of my bees through each winter. He asked question after question about gear and methods. With a little help, he faithfully followed my recommendations. Last October, he put on the candy board, added two inches of foam insulation on the top and all the sides, and hasn't checked on them since then. This puts me to the test a little bit because I always say you should not hope your bees make it through the winter. You should expect them to make it through the winter. So here we are at Al's house. As I walked up, I could see the first good sign, a few dead bees in the snow. I know it's counterintuitive, but that almost always means that the colony is doing well. Then I cleared the snow away and looked at the entrance. The second good sign was the frost in front of the entrance. Frost forms when moist air vents out of the opening, and it means there is a cluster of bees keeping things toasty inside. Then I took a closer look and I got confirmation. You can see bees crawling outside the mouse guard, and if you look closely, there are some crawling inside the mouse guard. As you have probably guessed, living bees are the very best indication that the colony is alive and well. Let's talk about how this entrance looks for a minute. I see two interesting things. First, dead bees are clogging all but two of the openings in the mouse guard. Or, more accurately, the bees are keeping two of these gaps clear. I'm not worried about the number of dead bees, but I am a bit worried that if we have a cold snap, the colony might struggle to maintain these gaps. Clearing the area just behind the mouse guard will resolve that problem. The second interesting thing is the bees crawling behind the mouse guard. It's 28 degrees outside, but much warmer inside. Many beekeepers insist that bees only heat the cluster, not the entire hive. Well, I can confidently say that when the hive is well insulated, they do indeed heat the entire hive. The last thing I did was check the candy board. They've only eaten a little, so we'll check again in three weeks or so. All in all, things are looking good. Al was ecstatic to see videos of his bees doing well. There are about six more weeks of winter, so we can't declare victory yet. But they look good so far, and I'm optimistic. I hope all of your bees are doing just as well.